Hey everybody, Chad Hasty here, host of the Chad Hasty Show. So is it a good idea that conservatives pursue a third-party candidate or decide just to stay home altogether instead of voting for Donald Trump in the general election? Well, we're still, uh, I think, a, a while away from uh, knowing exactly who the nominee is going to be, even though Donald Trump does have the inside path towards the Republican nomination, though Ted Cruz uh, still mathematically has a chance to take the nomination without there being a contested convention. But let's just say Donald Trump wins the nomination. That's the most likely that will happen. Donald Trump wins the Republican nomination. He faces off against Hillary Clinton in the general election. Should Republicans, conservatives, stay home or go and find a third-party candidate? It's a question that Eric Erickson of The Eric Erickson Show and the Resurgent.com brings up. In fact, he and other conservatives met in Washington, D.C. on Thursday to discuss a path forward in the uh, hopes of stopping Donald Trump. Now, uh, I like Eric Erickson. I've uh, obviously read a lot of his stuff. Uh, I, I'm a, I follow him on Twitter, um, I, I, but I don't agree with Eric here. Uh, you know, this is an idea uh, that running a third party candidate, uh, running somebody else against Donald Trump in the general election will somehow uh, be uh, more palatable uh, to Republicans and conservatives. Uh, to me, uh, it's it's a it's a recipe for disaster. Uh, listen, with Hillary Clinton, I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a liberal uh, who will be able to appoint at least three different Supreme Court justices, most likely. Uh, that will change the direction not only of the Supreme Court, but of the United States for at least the next 30 to 40 years. And that's something I don't want to risk. With Donald Trump, I don't know what I'm getting. I don't know if I'm getting a, a, a strong conservative or a strong Republican or a common sense conservative, whatever the hell that means. I don't know what I'm getting, but it can't be any worse than Hillary Clinton when it comes to Supreme Court justices. And that's something that we have to take a look at. It is something that is very important to take a look at going forward. If you're a conservative, if you're a Republican, you have to remember the Second Amendment and other rights will be under assault if Hillary Clinton becomes the President of the United States. You have to think about that. Uh, now, I agree with Eric Erickson in that Donald Trump doesn't share my values on a lot of different items. He's not a consistent conservative. He is not someone I believe who can bring this country together. He is not someone who has an uplifting message like a Marco Rubio. He, again, not a consistent conservative like a Ted Cruz. Uh, you know, those were my, pre uh, my, my my preferential picks. Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio. Uh, those are the, 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 you know, two of the candidates that I liked the most. Thankfully, Ted Cruz is still in this race. But if Donald Trump gets the nomination, uh, as of right now, now unless things get uh, com completely out of hand uh, with Donald Trump, w as of right now, I will still vote for Donald Trump. And here are a couple of reasons why I just named one earlier. The U.S. Supreme Court. That's a big one and something that a lot of Republicans need to remember when going to the polls. Number two, you have to remember this. Donald Trump, I think, is putting on a show. Everyone who I've talked to who has known Donald Trump or knows of Donald Trump behind the scenes says that he's a completely different guy. When I had his son on the show, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to have one of his kids on my show uh, was so that way he could give us a, a look behind the scenes, the Donald Trump we don't see. Uh, Donald Trump is a successful businessman. You cannot be as successful as Donald Trump has been if you're this loose cannon who, you know, is a racist and uh, uh, wants to turn everyone against each other. You can't be as successful as Donald Trump if that's how you truly run a business. Now, I think Donald Trump, uh, behind the scenes, is someone who is very smart, very capable, uh, someone who wants to win, someone who wants to, obviously, uh, somebody who wants to get his way, uh, and someone who believes that he is uh, the strongest at doing what he does. Uh, when you are a business owner, when you're in business, you have to think that way. Uh, Donald Trump has an ego, but guess what? So does everyone else who's running for president of the United States. So when I look at that, and when I, when I look at what Hillary Clinton would do to this country, to me, it's, it's no contest. You have to vote for Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton. This idea that we can run a, thir a magical third-party candidate, uh, that's just handing the election over to Hillary Clinton. Now, 
I will say this, if the if the Democrats somehow come apart uh, and run a socialist like Bernie Sanders as a third party candidate, then OK, maybe we can have a discussion, a conservative versus Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton versus uh, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Michael Bloomberg type of candidate. Then we can have a discussion about it, but not until then. Uh, the rest of this, I understand that people are ticked off. I understand that conservatives are upset about Donald Trump and they, they, they don't feel as though Donald Trump matches their values. I get it. I understand that. But folks, the Supreme Court is up for grabs. Okay, you have to remember that. It is very important. If you care about the future of this country, you have to think about the U.S. Supreme Court and what will happen if Hillary Clinton becomes the next president of the United States. I don't know about you, uh, but I'm a fan of the Second Amendment, and I want to make sure that the next president will, uh, will keep in line with the Second Amendment and with the Constitution and will appoint judges who will do the same. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 on News Talk 790 KFYO. Streaming online at KFYO.com. Download the Radio Pup app and you can listen to the show anywhere you travel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Chad Hasty Radio. That's Chad Hasty Radio on Twitter. And don't forget, subscribe below to our KFYO YouTube page. And we'll tune in, uh, tune in to the Chad HD show, and we'll talk to you next week here on KFYO on YouTube.